All right, so what I want to start off with is talking about how child support and child custody intertwine. So, you know, and probably the states vary, but what I can tell you in Arizona is that the more parenting time that somebody has, the less their child support obligation is. So in Arizona, child support is determined based on a combination of factors. The first factor, and probably the biggest factor, is the gross income of each party. What you do in Arizona is you plug numbers into basically what's a calculator. So you plug in each parent's gross monthly income, and there's a formula by which you calculate the gross income. So, you know, many people uh, are paid hourly. So in Arizona, the formula would be $17 an hour, for example, if that's the hourly rate, based on a 40-hour work week, and then you multiply it by 4.33, because not all months are exactly four weeks. Some are a little bit more. And that's what you use for your number for the gross monthly income. And there are slight variations depending on how you're paid. So you plug that number in. So what the child support calculator then does, it spits out a number, a base child support obligation. And then you start adding other numbers on top of that base child support obligation. So say, for example, I had a case with my husband and based on our incomes, there was a base child support obligation of $1,000 a month. But say my husband was also covering our daughter, say we were separated. Uh, My husband was also covering our daughter for insurance purposes. And the cost to insure her loan alone would be $500 per month. So then you add that on top of the base child support obligation. Then say also we had to pay for daycare because we both, you know, under normal circumstances work and can't be home right when she's out of school. So um, you add on another $500 just to make it easy for monthly daycare costs. So then that would bring the child support obligation up to $2,000. And depending on your circumstance, at least in Arizona, there are other factors that can be added on top of that. If um, you're supporting children from another relationship or if you are paying child support for another child, then those numbers also get factored in. But once you get your child support obligation, in this case, say it's $2,000, then each party's share depends on each party's portion of their combined gross monthly income. And also, I forgot to mention that there is an adjustment there for parenting time. So say we had equal parenting time, then there would be a pretty huge adjustment. And in some cases, that results in one party not having to pay the other party any money. But if there is a huge disparity in income where one party makes a lot of money and the other party doesn't make as much, then it's possible, even with an equal parenting time schedule in Arizona, that the party who makes more money uh, would actually have an obligation to the other party. So in Arizona, anyway, child support and parenting time are very closely intertwined because the more parenting time there is, that means the less child support there is by the paying parent. But that's not exactly what I wanted to get at today. Really what I was talking about was, you know, say you're entitled to parenting time with your child or children, and you also are the parent who's paying child support to the other parent. But say the parent, the other parent who's the primary parent is not letting you have time with your child or is denying you time that you're entitled to or is making it difficult or making obstacles, putting obstacles in front of you. As the parent who is paying the child support, at least in Arizona, I would think in most places, you are not allowed to say to the parent, well, you're not letting me see my son or my daughter, so I'm not going to pay you child support. And the courts that I have been in front of, judges say that child support and parenting time are two different things. You can't condition one upon the other. What that means is you can't condition you having to pay child support based on the fact that you're not getting parenting time. They're kind of two independent obligations. So if you're ordered to pay $2,000 a month, yet the other parent is being a jerk and not letting you see your kids, you still got to pay that $2,000 a month because if you don't, then you're subjecting yourself to potentially being held in contempt of court because you're not following the court order. Having said that though, the parent who is supposed to be letting you see the children, but who is not, is also subjecting themselves to contempt of court or an enforcement action. So anytime one parent or the other is not abiding by the court orders, 
then the other parent can potentially take them to court and ask the court to enforce the orders. And along with enforcement, there may come sanctions. You know, in Arizona, some of the examples of sanctions can be, you know, monetary sanctions. They can be attorney's fees. They can be um, makeup time. Those are just a few of the examples. But the long and the short of it is, is if there is a court order in place, you should be following that court order until it's changed. And that relates even to parenting time. You know, when the other parent's not letting you have the time you're entitled to, you still got to pay the child support order. The point I wanted to hit on, you know, you should not be using child support as a way to retaliate against the other parent for being unreasonable. When I go into court with my clients, I always tell them like, we want to go in there with clean hands. So in the law, there's this term, it's called unclean hands. And it's kind of like, you know, you don't want to have unclean hands when you go into court, just like, you know, you don't want to be the, the kettle calling the pot black, right? It means if you are going to be pointing the finger at the other side, you don't want to be pointing your finger with dirty hands. You have to make sure that you are following the court orders or following the law to the best of your ability, even if the other side is being a jerk, even if they're a narcissist, even if they're not following the court orders, even if it's hurting the kids. And if it is hurting the kids, then it's your job to take it to the judge and say, hey, the other side isn't following the court order and it's hurting the kids. And I want you to do something about it, judge. But you cannot and you should not be retaliating against the other parents by not following the court orders. <music>